All right, welcome back to the Game Day Show. Obviously, uh, a guy that will be missed, a guy that we're very excited about leading into this season, safety, Miles Slusher. Uh, Alyssa's pick last week, by the way, so hopefully he does bounce back and get back on the field as soon as possible. We'll keep you updated as we do learn more. We're going to actually give you an update here in just a second. But before that, one of my favorite segments now, home is where the hog is, as we actually go to the home of Miles Slusher and sit down with his parents. CJ has more. When he first started, his, his grandmother and his mom, they, nobody wanted to play football because they thought it was too small. But I knew what kind of heart he had. I knew what kind of competitive he was. As a former football player himself, Miles Slusher's father, PJ, said that he knew his son had it almost immediately. Born and raised in Oklahoma, that's where he started playing Mighty Might when he was in first and second grade. He played quarterback and running back because we had we had pretty dynamic kids. He always played both sides of the ball. It wasn't until actually broke an arrow that he only played defense. And actually, they kept promising him to play offense. They just never put him over there, which was a mistake in my opinion. But it is what it is. <laughs> Slusher has always been a leader, whether he was on the field or even on the hardwood. In Slusher's freshman year, the defensive back actually decided to put the pads down. Basketball, nobody had to know that. Basketball was actually his favorite sport. Yeah, oh yeah, he was he was he was a hell of a baller. Um, yeah, it's uh, point guard, um, especially like a quarterback on the court. I was like, well, you know, think about it, you know, because I'm I'm from football. You know what I'm saying? I said, well, think about. I said, think about it. I said, you know, because I, I always told him, you know, whatever we do, we're going a hundred. 10, we're not quitting in the middle. We don't. We don't do that. I said. So if you if you don't want to do it, that's fine. And I'm gonna support you regardless. Miles transferred to Broken Arrow and only played basketball his freshman season. While getting acclimated to his new school, Slusher decided to give football a second chance, and the rest is history. He became the fifth ranked safety in the country coming out of high school, and it's been a process for the defensive specialist in high school and now at Arkansas. He has big plans for himself. So because of that, I know every year have you seen him when he started uh, the first year and then the second year he's gotten better and better. And I really feel like in my heart that he's going to like show us so many things. Miles is going to be shocked because he's not going to see, he's not going to realize all the things that are coming in his future. And so I feel like this year is going to be something to look out for. For the people that have actually followed Miles from like high school, it's basically the process of learning what stage you're at and feeling comfortable with it. It's never been a question of his ability or his knowledge or the obtaining knowledge to do what he needed to go out there and do. I think it's just once you once he got acclimated to the speed of the game, to the crowd noise, to just the atmosphere of college football, I think he's got that now. Last year, the Razorbacks were underdogs, even though they were ranked for a great portion of the season. But this year, the expectations are even higher this time around for the team, for the coaches, and the parents. I really feel like they're going to shock some folks. And the fact that we have Batman at home this year, um, don't have Georgia to play. Unless we, of course, go to go to the, the SEC championship game, which I, I, me personally, I know a lot of people. I'm, I'm predicting it now. Yeah, we're calling it.